y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because today we are going to be playing with all the new goodies from House Labs. I placed an order at Sephora. I bought some of everything and we are going to test it out. House Labs is Lady Gaga's brand. She did a whole rebrand and launched at Sephora. So we are going to test everything. I brought brows, bronzer, highlighter, lip oils, lip crayon, eyeliners, lip lip like eye paint things some of everything we're gonna test it out i'm gonna let you know what i think of these products and if you are new here hey my name is heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means shimmer glitter testing new brands we are here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because i upload lots of new videos every single week but i can't wait to play with these things tell you my thoughts so let's jump into it. Okay, so all of my makeup is done except for these products. This is a, I would say like high-end brand at Sephora. Some of the products were a bit pricey, but I want to go through everything. Now I have played with these products once before. I actually filmed this video and I wasn't super happy with how everything came out. So I want to do it again and I want to I want to play with these products again. So this is kind of my second impression. I'm going to tell you what I think, but I'm going to show you a quick clip of me applying the brow product. I have to say, second time playing with this brow product, I think it's nice, but is it anything that you need to pay a high-end price tag for? I don't think so. I think it's nice, but I think you can get this same quality from Morphe. That would be my favorite for $6. NYX, CoverGirl, something like that. There is a spoolie on one end and a micro tip on the other end, but it is nice. If you want to buy something from the brand, you really like brow products, this is a nice product. This is the Edge Precision Brow Pencil Crayon in dark brown. So that's what I used to fill in my brows today. I think it's nice. I'll keep using it. I'll use it up. It's not something that I'll be running out to repurchase. I'll definitely stick with my other brow favorites. After that, let's talk about the bronzer. Now I have to say, the bronzer, highlighter, packaging beautiful the box that these came in is like a really high quality paper if you've ever seen like recycled invitations very nice box and then inside it for this bronzer we have this beautiful bronze packaging it's matte on the front with the beautiful logo and then opening it up we have the beautiful h imprint now i bought the shade medium seven so this was described as a warm rosy undertone and i was really nervous looking through the undertones on the bronzer because I normally like warm golden bronzers, even warm to olive, but rosy is something I tend to shy away from. But my first time using this was really nice. So we're gonna apply that together. It is marketed as a velvet finish and you'll see that it's not matte. It's not super glowy. It definitely has a skin-like sheen to it, which I really enjoy. And the same size packaging is the highlighter. So this has like an opalescent finish on the cover. It's white with the embossing and then as you move it in the light you can see the blue green purple pink shifts in the packaging again those beautiful beveled edge with a sticker on the back to show the shade now this is a highlight but i bought the shade fire opal thinking it could be really pretty as like a blush highlight combo type of thing maybe a blush topper again you have that beautiful embossing so holding these i definitely understand where her high price point came in. Definitely an investment in the packaging, the embossing, absolutely beautiful packaging. But let's put this bronzer on together. I'm going to grab my BK Beauty brush. I'm going to tap in like this. I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and coated. And let's put some bronzer over here. 
very pretty, very soft. So if you're somebody who just likes a tint of bronzer, you can definitely go in with this and you're not gonna get wham bam intense bronze right away, which I think is super duper nice. So from one side to the other, this really pretty, really, really bronzy. You can see it definitely has a skin-like sheen to it for sure. Definitely not matte, but also not overly glowy. So let me take my bronzer and bronze up the other side of the face now. Really nice, really pretty. Bronze up the forehead, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the neck. Super duper pretty. And now I wanna go in with this. I was surprised the first time I used this at how sparkly it was. And I did use the Sigma Samantha Ravindal Fan Brush. And this was very sparkly, very pretty, but very, very sparkly. I do wanna say, I think the bronzer, there were a lot of shade options and same with the highlight, but I want to try a different brush and see if it's any different on the face. So I'm gonna take this brush. This is a Beauty Bay brush and I'm gonna pick it up. Since I used such a small fan brush the first time I tried these products, I thought we would see if we got kind of a different effect with a different brush and we don't. <laughs> Look at how sparkly it is. It's definitely more gold than I anticipated but it's pretty, just know it's very sparkly. And I like sparkly highlights, but I don't know if this would be like my favorite. It's pretty, it's very pretty, but it's, it's just pretty. It's not like, oh my gosh, wow, amazing, which is kind of how I feel about the bronzer as well. I'm gonna see if I can blend a little bit more and I'm just kind of moving so y'all can see how the highlight like catches the light, things like that. I don't know, I was a little surprised at the highlight. I definitely expected a little bit more of that pinky orangeness to it, to where when I put it on the face, it's a little bit more like a peach gold shimmer on the face, but it is pretty, just, just maybe not the absolute favorite, you know? Now I am, loving the color that I picked out. Let me say this, this is the Le Monster Lip Crayon 2.0 and I got Fuchsia Shimmer. Now, when I was picking out these products, look, I wasn't really thinking about how I would create a cohesive look with these, but I was looking at all the mauve tones, I was looking at the brown nudes, and I was like, you know what, I have so many of those, let's do something fun. It's summertime, I wanna do something fun. So I got the formula that was a shimmer, and I got the cool toned pink. I feel like this is such like Barbie pink vibes, very fun. So the formula is nice, like look how easily that glided on. I'm gonna fill in the lips. It does have a shimmer, which I knew. And I have to say, the thing that I like most about this lip product, the thing I liked most about the bronzer and highlight, is this packaging. I think this will stand out in my collection, the way it's hot pink, the same as the shade inside. On the outside, it has this point. I think that's really nice. I will say, there's. This, this rolls up pretty large. So once I wear away this point, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get a precise line on my lips because it's just gonna be kind of rounded. So I don't know, the formula doesn't feel like anything super duper special, but it is nice. I don't wanna sound like I'm being too hard, but I do wanna share like my honest thoughts. Now this lip oil, the packaging reminds me a lot of the Sigma lip oil. It's very, very thin. So I'm just gonna apply this to the lips. I do find myself reaching back in and getting more product out and more product out. I've worn this lip oil a couple of times now. I wore it yesterday just on bare lips. And I have to say, I mean, I've only worn it like three times now, but it feels nice. For this price point, 
I love my Lunar Beauty and my Sigma lip oils. Those are my favorites. I even like the ColourPop lip oil over this one. So for this price point, I'm not obsessed. I don't love it. I bought it. I'm going to keep using it. I definitely don't think it's bad, but if you're asking me for a lip oil recommendation, it's not going to be this one. This is the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil in the shade Tint. I really like the way my lips look though. I think the color is super nice. Now we have the paints. These are eye, lip, and cheek paints, but I want to use these on the eyes. And we have these liners that we're going to play with. Now I will say, I used these first and I did not prime my eyes. I do have deep set eyes and I won't say that I have fine lines on my eyes. Like I definitely don't want to exaggerate, but I do have tiny little fine lines here and there. Definitely nothing terrible. Definitely nothing I normally notice with makeup, but I didn't use an eye primer and I noticed that these, even after I let them dry down, they creased and they settled into lines that I didn't really know I had. So I didn't like that. So what we're going to do today is I did prime my eyes. I primed my eyes with my MAC paint pot. That's my favorite eye base. And I want to test these on top of an eye primer, how I would normally wear shadow. So I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to play with these. Okay. So I used my, my MAC paint pot. And I want to see what I'm wondering is if these are going to go on the eyes and they're not going to crease and they're going to be long wear is, are these going to be beautiful bases for other shadows? So I'm going to put that on my eye like this. I'm looking, okay. I'm like, where's my little handheld mirror? And I want to see if these work better over an eye base and if they can blend and not crease. So I'm just pressing, I've been trying new formulas like this recently. I've tried one from House Labs. I bought one from NYX that I'm going to be trying very soon and letting y'all know how this one is. So I feel like this is a big trend right now, having these creamy uh, bases. And I really like this color. There were a lot of shades to choose from. So I'm super hopeful that using this on top of an eye base is going to give me a better result. I'm just blending this in. This is an unearthly cosmetics brush. I'm kind of packing it first to make sure that it's nice and opaque. And then as we get into the socket of my eye, I'm blending a little bit more blending out a little bit more up and around. Okay, now I'm kind of like buffing the shade, making sure I'm able to get a nice blend. I definitely feel like it's not quite as opaque as I would like. I'm trying to give it time to dry down so it doesn't settle into my creases as fast. That's what I didn't like the first time I played with this is it was just kind of settling weird, but I'm hoping my MAC paint pot will prevent any of that. I do typically wear an eye base and then I want to use a tiny bit of the black out here on the outer corner and the lower lash line. So I'm just going to put a little bit down and let's see how well we can layer this. The first time I did it, it was a bit patchy, but I still feel like I could get the look to work and be okay. So let's see now that we're trying it for a second time. Now that I know a little bit more, I'm not going to bring this to the lower lash line, but I'm definitely going to bring it a little bit right out here in this outer corner. And I'm just seeing if I can blend. I don't know. I just feel like I'm having to spend a little more time blending these than I should have to. I definitely had a bit of a better experience with the Half Magic Beauty liquid shadows. I'm just buffing over this a little bit with the green to make sure it's a good blend. And I will say, I'm not a makeup artist. I've done makeup on other people. Not too many times. I'm definitely didn't go to school for makeup. I just 
love makeup. So, you know, that could be it too. It could be my skill level, but I don't know. I just don't feel like these are the easiest to work with, but they're not terrible. They are workable. You just definitely have to put in a little more effort. Okay, now for the inner corner, I want to take this. This is Chartreuse Matte Eyeliner, and I'm going to put this for an inner corner pop. So I'm just going to color this on, kind of wrap it around this inner corner just like this. And I'm going to grab a little brush and kind of blend it. It blends well and then it seems to sit down well. I think it's nice and pigmented. Really nice so far as well as the first time I used it. I also had a good experience. So I'm just going to buff, buff, buff. Just like that. And then, you know what? Why not this? This is the Brick Matte Optic Intensity Eco Eyeliner. So it's like a brick red. And I want to put this in my waterline. And it goes on nicely. It's pigmented. It glides well. No issues. I am going to put on some mascara. And then... I will be back and I'll kind of round up my thoughts on everything. All right, y'all. This is the finished look. I put on some, some, uh, Saint lashes from Blend Bunny. I was like, wait a minute. What lashes do I put on? Saint from Blend Bunny. I wanted something impactful, but I have to say I've tried these products now twice and I'm, I'm just trying to think like, are these products worth it, right? And I can't tell you what's worth it to you with your money. Like only you know that. But for me, I'm not blown away by anything. I will say the eye paints, again, they're just not looking super smooth. And when I look super up close, they're settling into fine lines on my lids that I didn't know I had. I just, I really liked the Half Magic Liquid Shadow a lot more than I like this. If I'm comparing like liquid shadows, I wanted these to be a home run, like, but they're just not. They're, they're not terrible though. I just feel like the word that comes to mind performance wise is mediocre. And I don't mean that to be mean. I just mean that to be completely honest and sharing my thoughts with y'all. I think if anything, if you want to try anything, I think the bronzer is nice, the highlight is nice, and the liners are nice. The brow pencil is very nice too, but for what it is, I think you can get a comparable product for way less. The eye paints, I, I've tried them without a base, I've tried them with a base, just not having the best luck. Now, I'm looking at myself and I think, okay, this looks cool. The lip oil, I don't love. I'll use it. I bought it. I'm going to use it. The lip, the thing with this is, is once it kind of gets used two or three more times, I'm going to have to use a different lip liner with it, which to me, crayons are meant to be like easy, but I feel like it's going to be hard to get a nice line once this kind of goes down. I think my favorite thing about all of these products is the packaging. The packaging is really pretty and luxurious, but the products inside I think are really nice, not an obsession. Of course, I'm going to try these things more. I will follow up in a couple of weeks. I'll let you know if my thoughts changed on any of these, but that is kind of my thoughts after trying these products twice now, trying to switch up the techniques with some of the things. I'm just looking at myself and I'm like, my look is nice, but I'm not in love, you know? So I would love to know if you tried these products, what do you think? Have you tried these? Do you have a different opinion from me? Definitely let me know. I'm very excited now that I have tried these products myself. I want to go watch some reviews. I have not watched reviews yet because I didn't want my opinion to be swayed one way or the other. So I don't know. I may be the odd one out right now. Everybody else may be loving these products. I may be the only one who 
is just feeling meh about them. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. But y'all let me know if you tried these, if you didn't try these. Let me know what you think of the products. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Today is a two upload day and tomorrow I've got another video coming. So make sure you subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. But thank you so much for watching, hanging out with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in another one. Bye.